everyone, welcome to my channel, 10 Ways to Wear It. I'm Alicia, and on this channel, I take one fashion item or one fashion trend and show you all 10 different ways to wear it. Now, I don't know if I've shared this with you all, but I absolutely love the French fashion aesthetic. That is one of my favorite styles. I love the way French women dress. Something about their style is just so elegant. It's classic. It's timeless. It gives you that model off-duty vibe without even trying, and I absolutely love it. Y'all know I'm a maximalist. I love bold colors. I love patterns and all the extra stuff but deep down at heart I am a French woman ready to break out okay and since I'm gonna be visiting there soon I thought you know what like they say when in Rome honey when in France I'm gonna slay like the French women do okay so today's video is all about the French fashion aesthetic I've created 10 outfits for you all that are inspired by the French aesthetic they're elegant they're timeless they're super cool and I think you all are really going to love them so if you're interested in seeing a bunch of outfits inspired by the French fashion aesthetic let's go ahead and jump into it okay parlez-vous francais let's go that's the only thing i know in french y'all let's get into the video <laughs> So here is my first French inspired outfit and honestly a trench coat is an essential for a French wardrobe. This is something that I see the French influencers that I follow wear a ton. They'll style it up with a nice jeans and t-shirt outfit. They'll style it up over a simple dress and that's basically what I did here. I took my H&M classic trench coat in the classic shape and color and threw it on top of this fluffy black dress. This is sort of like a strapless dress. This is by the brand Souk and Sepia. I threw it on with some flat Chelsea boots because another thing you'll see a lot with French style is that they'll wear flats. You don't see like crazy platforms and you know all these crazy shoes all the time on French women. They will wear flat boots and flat shoes and they still make it look so timeless and elegant and sexy. So I threw on some flat boots with the look and of course I threw on a hat because you know hats and French style are synonymous. So I threw on this little Baker Boy hat from H&M that I've had for a few years to complete the look and I absolutely love it. I kept my jewelry minimal which was hard for me because y'all know I love some popping crazy jewelry but I kept it minimal because I think in French style, minimal jewelry, minimal accessories are pretty much synonymous with their style. So that is what I went for here. Nice little trench coat overdress outfit and I really love this. I could totally see myself walking down the stone paved streets of Paris in this outfit. So I really love it. I hope you guys like it too. This is probably one of my favorites in the video because it's comfortable, classic, and it's French style. I love it. Alrighty folks, so here is my next inspired outfit and one thing I love about French women's style is what they do with dresses. They usually make their dresses look so casual but still making them look sexy at the same time. I don't know what it is y'all but I see so many French women pair their dresses with sneakers. That's something that I do in my own style so I had to give y'all a look okay. This dress is from Misguided. It's like a printed sort of really small fine leopard print in this beautiful green a little black and white sprinkled in of course i threw it on with a moto jacket because you know the french women and the moto jackets with dresses they kill it every time and i threw on my nike court royales from nordstrom with the look and sneakers another way that they just keep it casual comfortable but also elegant and so if you're looking to do a french inspired look with a dress all you'll need is like a printed dress. You can go for a wrap style dress. You can go for a tee style dress like this dress that I'm wearing. This is a, considered a tee dress. Or you can do any dress that flatters your shape. Throw it on with some sneakers and a moto jacket and you've created that gorgeous model off duty French aesthetic that I love so much. So that is the look we went for on this one. Did I nail it or nah? <laughs> Parlez-vous Francais? I think I did. <laughs> Alrighty folks, so here is my next inspired outfit and when I did my research to do this video, I saw a lot of French capsule wardrobes and noticed that a lot of them had striped sweaters and pops of red in them. So they'll do like a red beret or a red sweater or a nice red lip paired with a red scarf. So I wanted to incorporate those two elements into this look and I did so by pairing this black and red striped sweater from Target. This is a recent purchase from the Who What Wear collection with my Levi 501 jeans. I threw on a simple black belt and some red flats on the feet. Now to talk a little bit more about the outfit, 
I noticed in French style they really do get tailoring down like everything fits well that you don't see a lot of baggy and oversized things on French women they really do buy their clothes to fit so I got my sweater in a size medium I didn't want it to be too oversized this sweater does run oversized and I also put on my most well-fitting pair of jeans which I think are these Levi 501s and I like the way this turned out I like the way this turned out I think this is definitely hitting on French style of course I have on the beret you know berets are synonymous with French and Parisian style so have to throw on a little red beret with the look and I have on my flats and I talked about in the first look you know French women make flats look sexy I know here we don't feel like we're dressed up until we're wearing heels but French women make heels look sexy they also make them look elegant and just well put together and if I can do all that and wear flats and be comfortable I'm going for it so I'm definitely going to be incorporating this into my style but I really love this look overall like I said you have that striped sweater which is something I saw in a lot of French capsule wardrobes nice well-fitting jeans simple flats and of course my red beret I'm feeling this look I feel like a really nice beautiful black French woman in this outfit so definitely hitting y'all they're not even gonna know I'm from Southern California I'm from the hood but they're not gonna know when I get to France they're not gonna know alrighty so here is our next inspired outfit and I really like this one I think it's so elegant and this is another one that's pretty simple overall but something about these super simple chic looks really hit every time and so what I have on is my black high neck bodysuit from H&M it's like a turtleneck bodysuit you can always replace it for just a simple turtleneck that fits you really well with a boucle black and white plaid skirt and this skirt is about a year and a half old from Shein and I will link some similar ones for you that are super affordable and look very similar to this one and I threw it on with my snake embossed black Steve Madden knee high boots talk about simple y'all this look is so simple it's so nice but something about the silhouette y'all I feel like I am nailing this video okay I'm not trying to toot my own horn but toot toot <laughs> I think I'm really doing a good job because when I put this on I felt very French elegant in this and this is definitely something I'm planning to take with me on my trip but I'm really loving this y'all something about the silhouette again and then the tailoring getting it that tailoring right will really give you that French aesthetic. So you can put together the outfits all you want, but it's the tailoring and the fit that I notice that really brings it home with French women. They always get that tailoring and that fit right. So I hope I nailed this look because I really like it. I feel so elegant in this, y'all. I got to get this on for my trip. I'll probably do some more comfortable boots when I do my trip because we'll be walking around a lot, take pictures and all that. But I'm definitely gonna take this outfit because I think this is very French. I like it. Alrighty folks, so here is my next French inspired outfit and one thing I have to tell you, when you Google or go on Pinterest and type in French inspired aesthetic or French style aesthetic, the one outfit you're going to see the most is this one. Jeans, a white t-shirt, and a black blazer. That is a look that came up over and over. Of course the style and lengths of the blazer vary, the style and color of the jeans vary, and loafers were something that also came up quite a bit. They came up in the French capsule wardrobes that I saw and I saw French women wearing them a lot as well as the influencers that I follow. So for this outfit, I went with just that common French outfit, a white t-shirt from H&M. I have on my black boucle blazer from H&M and I have on Levi 501 jeans, the dark washed. I just kind of cuffed them a little bit. Um, I actually permanently cuffed these jeans. I sold them because I like to wear these like this. And I threw on my black loafers from ASOS, which are a couple of years old. I will, of course, recreate this outfit for you, but I'm going to add one other element that I saw a lot, and that is a scarf around the neck. Now, this isn't a look that I wear a lot, but I told y'all in 2022, we're going for more elegance. We're going for a more graceful look. Yes, I'm still going to be rocking my colors and my urban decor and my street style, but just in a more elegant way. So you know what? I thought I want to try this look and I'm definitely going to rock this when I go to Paris. But here we are with a neck scarf. I'm going to tie it to the side. I'm just going to loop it one more time so it'll stay in place. But this is a look that I saw a ton and it is timeless. It's elegant. It's cute never has a Fashion Nova scarf look so classy and elegant. <laughs> yes, this scarf is from Fashion Nova. It has like a bunch of different prints on it. I really like it. I love the little yellow pops on there, but I think it looks so nice with this outfit, y'all. Does this not give you French 
woman vibes. Yes, I feel like it does. I feel like I really need to practice my French right now. I don't know if I've ever shared with you guys, but I took French for about two years in college and I don't know where it has gone. I guess it's just been replaced by other things in my brain, but I'm gonna have to try to refresh it, but I really like this look. Timeless, elegant, classic. I'm feeling it. I feel expensive in this, y'all. I feel like I just look like I got a little change, even though, well, yeah, I got a little change. <laughs> Let me stop lying. But yeah, I really like this look. Really cute. Recreate it. Jeans, white tee, black blazer, and a little scarf. And of course, your loafers. I love this. Okay, you all, so here is my next inspired outfit, and please try to ignore the noise that you hear outside. The gardener always happens to come when I'm filming, and I just refuse to stop. So sorry, y'all. We're going to have to work through it. But speaking of my next outfit, when I was doing my research, like I said, with the black and red striped sweater, I saw a lot of pops of red coming up in the French capsule wardrobe. So pops of red seem to be something that French women gravitate towards a lot, whether it's a red scarf with a nice red lip, or whether it's a red sweater, red slacks. I saw that a lot when I was doing my research and so I wanted to give you all a few outfits featuring pops of red because I've been loving red lately as it is in this outfit I have on some classic shaped red slacks these are about four years old from H&M and I really wish they would come out with these again because they are the best pair of slacks that I own they fit so nicely and I talked about that tailoring thing when it comes to French inspired it's always well tailored so I definitely went for that in this look I threw on this turtleneck bodysuit from H&M as well and some black simple booties those are my Stradivarius from the ASOS website. I'll definitely put this look together for you all in the description as well as all of these outfits. But this one I think is just hitting, okay? If I were to walk down the streets of Paris in this, I'm sure I would turn a few heads, okay? It's not the most, you know, extra bells and whistles outfit, but it's super simple. But it's dynamic, it's classic, it's elegant, it's so nice. That red against the black looks amazing. And so I'm really feeling like I checked off all the boxes as far as the French aesthetic on this look. Y'all can let me know in the comments, but I'm really feeling this one, okay? I feel like an elegant, wealthy French black woman about to go have me a croissant and some hot cocoa, okay? That's what I'm feeling like right now. But really, I'm just about to go in there and change clothes again. <laughs> but I really like this look. I hope you all like it too because this is another fave in this video, okay? Just sweet on Belle in this outfit, yes. Okay, so this next inspired outfit is really comfortable and chic, and this is definitely something that I will be taking on my trip with me because I just love the comfort of it, and I love how modern it is as well. And what I have on are my Topshop faux leather leggings. Threw them on with an oversized white shirt. This is from H&M. It's my usual white shirt that y'all always see, but I got it in a 2X because I wanted one that's nice and big and flowy that kind of covers my butt. And I threw on this V-neck sweater from H&M. This is sort of like a marbled taupey tannish colored sweater on the feet i have on my pointy toe sling bags from the brand raid london from the asos website but you can also get these on the lulu's website i'll provide both links hopefully they're still available but getting back to the outfit overall like i said this one is very comfortable this is certainly something that i would take you can throw on any kind of outerwear with this a moto jacket an aviator a trench coat on top of this and it will still look just as french chic as it does now as far as a bag you can do something simple i did pull out a bag for this one because you know i would totally do something casual like my little forever 21 black box purse with this but i love this look like i said it's comfortable this is definitely something i'm planning to take you know i could see myself throwing this on to go get my morning coffee and my croissant or should I say it in the French way, croissant? <laughs> but I'm definitely planning to take this with me because I, I feel like I am definitely hitting on the French vibes. And you know, even though I'm definitely gonna be rocking a little bit of California style out there and let them know how we roll, I do want to wear French inspired outfits on my trip. I just do, okay? I don't know why, but I just do, okay? But um, I'm definitely gonna take this outfit because the comfort, the polished look, this timeless look, it's modern with those faux leather leggings, oversized shirt, oversized sweater. I'm feeling this. I really like this look. It's super easy to recreate. I'll link all of these pieces or similar pieces for you all to recreate this very French chic outfit. Alrighty folks, so here is my next inspired look and a few other things that I saw repeatedly coming up when I was researching French style and French aesthetic is a white button down shirt, wide leg pants and an oversized blazer. Those are things that were frequently listed 
in the French capsule wardrobes that I came across. And those are things that I see a lot on the pages of the influencers that I follow, the French influencers that I follow. They usually have white shirts featured with, you know, a simple pair of jeans, a blazer. They wear a lot of oversized blazers and they wear a lot of like wide leg or menswear style trousers. So I wanted to give you all a look like that. And in the description, I'll list some of the French influencers that I follow if you all are interested in following them. Um, I have black, white, I got pretty much a little bit of everything that I follow. So I'll list those in the description for you all if you're interested in following some of the French influencers that I follow. Their style is just amazing. And I may not dress like them every day, but I absolutely love their style and I'm very inspired. But I wanted to give you all, like I said, a look featuring those three elements, an oversized blazer, a white button down, and wide leg pants. And I did just that in this outfit. This blazer is from H&M. You all have seen it a ton in videos. This is an oversized menswear blazer. Threw it all with my white H&M button down shirt. And these wide leg pants that I'm wearing are from Zara. They're like a loose fitted flowy style of wide leg pants. I really love them. This outfit is so nice. And I went ahead and kind of scrunched up my sleeves a little bit because I see that a lot as well when I'm looking at my French influencers and whatnot. Um, you know, that casual vibe is something that they always tend to go for. That effortless, you know, I'm on my break 24 hours a day feel. It's always there in their look. No matter how polished it is, somehow they always give that vibe, that sort of relaxed, you know, everything's okay, we're chilling vibe. So I love that about the French aesthetic. My shoes are from the brand Clarks, and these are a couple of years old, but they are like a nice little two-tone pointy toe flats. So we went with the cute little flats on this look, but I'm really feeling this. And all you'll need to recreate it is a pair of light-colored flowy wide leg pants. I'll link these as well as some options from H&M. White button down shirt. I always link this shirt for y'all. Hopefully it's still available. And an oversized blazer in like a neutral color. So that's all you need to recreate this very chic French inspired look. I'm definitely loving this. Okay, this might be another contender in my suitcase for my trip to Paris. So yes, I'm loving this look y'all. Alrighty, so once again we are touching on the pops of red with our French inspired outfits. I saw this outfit on a woman when I was doing my research for this video and I thought I'm definitely going to recreate that one. She had on a red blazer, she had on what looked like a camisole underneath, some straight leg jeans, and some little mules. Mules seem to be something that French women wear a lot, like flat mules that you just kind of slide your foot into. Again touching on that comfort, that effortless look that they always seem to pull off. So I went with that look in this outfit. I threw on this red blazer by Stradivarius. This is from the ASOS website and it's something I purchased maybe about three weeks ago now. I've shared it with you all I think in a couple of videos by now. But I also threw it on with a black camisole from ASOS, black belt, and my good American jeans that I thrifted um, I think the beginning of this year. And of course on my feet I have on some mules because like I said I wanted to recreate that effortless, you know, simple look. So I threw on these striped black and white bow mules. These are old, they're from Forever 21, but if I can find something similar, I will link them. I wanted to do, you know, something with a little pop on my feet with this outfit. And I think the black and white stripes on the shoes go perfectly with the red blazer and a simple black camisole. And I'll come up so you all can see this look up close, just to see how cool and effortless it is. Even though it's red, that dynamic, bold color that we all love, it still looks effortless, it still looks cool, and that's something that French women seem to pull off so easily. Those pops of red still look pretty simmered down and cool on them, so I hope I pulled off the look pretty well that I saw on that young woman. I really like this, it's such a nice look. I'm definitely going to be taking this outfit with me as well, so I hope it's not too cold, but I got a nice thick wool coat that I'll be taking with me to put on top of all of these looks, so I can always button up this blazer if I need to and put on my thick wool coat when I'm out there. So yes, loving this look. Pops of red. Oh, I love it. Alrighty, so here is my next outfit and I mentioned earlier that when I was doing my research and looking up French capsule wardrobes, there was a lot of striped shirts in the capsule wardrobe. So I decided to give you all another look since this is like a recent purchase from Amazon. I threw on this black and white striped sweater with my Levi 721 jeans and I threw on some black mules in the feed. Like I mentioned in the look before this one, mules seem to be pretty popular with French women because they're comfortable and chic. And I threw these on. They are from Nine West. They're about five years old. I will link a similar pair of mules for you all. And of course on top, I finished the look with my classic trench coat from H&M. And I think this is such a nice look. It is 
very French inspired. You got the stripes and then of course I had to throw in a hat with this one so I decided to do another pop of red. I threw on my red Baker Boy hat from H&M. This is another thing that's a couple years old but I'll link a similar hat for you all. But I really like this look. Like I said, giving me French vibes from head to toe and it's just chic, comfortable, totally gonna take this one with me, the entire ensemble so you all can look for this in the vlog of my trip. But yeah, I'm loving this look. Super cute. If you want to create similar outfits, all you got to do is look up those French capsule wardrobes. There's a ton of them on Pinterest. You can also find them on Google under the images. And I just got so many ideas basically from looking at those. So I love this outfit. It is so cute. Can't wait to wear it in Paris. Alrighty folks, so here is my last inspired outfit and this is pretty far from my style but I love that because I'm really stepping outside of the box as far as fashion goes with this look. And what I have on is a high neck empire waist dress. It has long sleeves. This is by the brand Max Studio and I'll come up so you all can see it. It has like a really fine print on top of a hunter green. And like I said, this is by the brand Max Studio. I picked this up in store at TJ Maxx in Las Vegas when I went to Vegas a couple of months ago. So that's where I picked this up at. And I saw a lot of looks when I was doing my research for this video. I saw a lot of looks featuring maxi dresses with like casual boots. So I threw it on with my Chelsea boots from ASOS, which is like a simple flat Chelsea boot. And I belted the dress just to add a little bit more shape to it. And I just really like this. Like I said, this is far from my style, but I definitely want to finish off the look with like that French rocker chick, chill, model off duty vibe. So you gotta add a biker jacket to this look. Let me go ahead and throw on my Target Wild Favor biker jacket with this. I think this will be the perfect finish to this look and it'll just give that right amount of contrast that you see in a lot of French women's outfits, but also still giving you kind of a classic look. And girl, I like this. I feel good in this. This is certainly one of the outfits I'll be taking on my trip because it's casual enough that I can walk around and still be comfortable, you know, got on the comfortable boots, but it's also kind of dressed up and, you know, definitely giving me that chill girl vibe with the moto jacket on top. So. I love this last look. I hope you all like it. If you want to recreate this one, all you'll need is like a long sleeve maxi dress. It can be something floral. It can be something plaid. Whatever you can come up with will probably work. Some casual boots and throw a biker jacket on top and you have a really cute French inspired look that I am loving. Thank you all so much for checking out this video featuring a bunch of outfits inspired by the French fashion aesthetic. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some great ideas if you're interested in incorporating this fashion style into your outfits. I know for 2022, I'm planning to step up my fashion game. I want to be more graceful. I want to be a little bit more elegant with my style. And honey, I definitely plan to reach for these ideas when I start, okay? A girl is stepping it up in 2022 because, you know, we are like fine wine at this point, okay? We are the expensive company cognac honey we are all of that okay and it's just time to step it up but so stay tuned for more outfits featuring this aesthetic but I want to go ahead and insert some additional Pinterest inspiration right now these are some other outfits that I found super inspiring that feature that French aesthetic I just love the way French women take like a simple you know wrapped pattern dress and style it up with some sneakers and a moto jacket or the way that they take like a simple jean and t-shirt outfit and elegantly tie a small scarf around the neck throw on a blazer with it and some nice loafers and just make it look so timeless and elegant as you can see these outfits are supreme there is just something about the way that french women put together their outfits that just pops okay and i absolutely love it so i had to give you all some more looks i hope they've inspired you as well as they've inspired me so i hope you all enjoyed this video if you're not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button right now i promise you'll love my content and my community to all my regulars i love y'all so much i hope you enjoyed this video stay tuned for more of this style okay i'm gonna try to mix it in with my crazy style and we will see how it goes in 2022 but i hope y'all enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys on the next one love you bye au revoir <laughs>